Good morning, Berlin seniors. This is the, the kind of day that we're grateful for Zoom. <laughs> it's really snowy and cold outside and, and I'm warm here at the town hall and you're warm here there at your home. So grateful for Zoom this morning. So let's take a moment uh, and just center a bit before we start our practice this morning. I'm seated in my chair here, but I'm supporting my own spine, so I'm not um, resting on the back. We'll do a little centering. It's important to take some space to move from here to there. Um, just kind of starting our practice with a little intention today. So rolling shoulders up, back, and down. Lifting up to the crown of your head. And when you're ready, we'll just take a few breaths. Close your eyes. Breathing in through your nostrils and filling your torso starting down deep in your belly. And when you're ready, coming back, gently opening your eyes. And we'll move to the front of our chairs. Again, don't lose that nice tall spine. Stick our arms by our side. We'll give them a little shake to wake them up. And we'll use those arms to draw in our first nice deep breath. And then bring them overhead, touch your palms together, and exhale out and down. A couple more like that. Let's do one more. And when you get your hands up there together, we'll interlace the fingers and press to the ceiling. Just notice how that feels. And release your fingers and arms and we'll start to roll the shoulders. And then we'll take the circle forward and down. And then we'll come to center and then draw the shoulders up to your ears and then let them come down. Beautiful. Let's take the arms out to the side and we'll press through the heels of your hands. Press, press, and then release and let them hang. And then draw the fingers down and under, stretching the wrists. And then go back and forth, press into the heels. And then fingers down and under. Last one, pressing, pressing. And curling under. We'll give the hands a little shake and we'll rub them together. Don't forget the tops. And then between your fingers. Let's make one big ball with your hands and we'll roll it back and forth. It's like the infinity symbol. And then release the effort and we're gonna 
switch it up and interlace your fingers in the opposite way. So the opposite thumb is on top. And we'll do the same thing. And then release your hands. We'll give them a little shake. We'll interlace them and press them forward. Inhaling all the way up and over your head. And if you have to bend your elbows for this, that's okay too. We're going to move one side. And up to center and then the opposite side. And then release your fingers. Take hold of the chair behind you and drop your chest forward. Your next exhale brings the hands together out in front and we'll round through the spine. So inhaling and reach. And then exhaling and round. Let's do that a few more times. And we're mimicking the cat and cow pose as we go back and forth. And then release the effort and release the arms. Let's bring our hands together in namaste pose and then a little bit away from your chest. So we have some room to move it around and we'll go from one side to the other. Of your spine, see if you can keep it aligned with your chest. No, nope. see if you can bring it further. And last one. And back to center. Take a little break if you need to. I'm going to swim my fingers forward and then back. It's like you're diving down in. And one last one. Take a little break if you need to. I'm going to bring my fingers away from my chest and make little circles. See if you can make them bigger and bigger. And then pretty soon they're encircling your whole torso. And then we'll bring hands back to the center of your chest and then a little forward and we'll go the other direction. Starting small and getting bigger. Make sure you're breathing. And they're big as you can make them. Let's do one more and we'll bring them down. And then down to the center of your chest. We can say namaste on our, in our centering, our beginning. So namaste right now. Release your arms and your hands. We'll give them a shake. Let's do a twist. I'm going to try to change it up. I think we... We tend to do the same twist. So I'm going to change it up a bit. I'm sitting to the side of my chair and my arms and hands at, at shoulder height. I'm going to reach to the back of my chair, holding on at 10 and 2. Lift your heart, lift up to the crown of your head. And if you draw your body kind of twisted, you can bring it closer to the back of your chair. But Move mindfully. And then coming back to center, I'll take it to the other side. So I'm to the side of my chair, a little bit of my, uh, a little bit of my flesh is over the chair in the front and that's okay. Don't lose that nice tall spine. And I'm gonna twist to the back of the chair, holding on it to, to and I can use the chair to kind of press in and come deeper into the twist. And then release the effort and I'll come forward again. 
edge of my chair. Let's take a nice deep breath. We'll use the arms out and up. Rolling the shoulders. We're all warmed up from the belly button up. So let's work from the belly button down. So we'll walk our feet wide. And then we'll walk them together. And then walk them wide. And together. And once more like that. And we'll take one knee into your chest. Doesn't matter which, we'll get to both. And the other knee into your chest. Give it a little squeeze. Let's walk our feet nice and wide. And holding the underside of your chair or your thighs. We'll take turns dropping the knee to center. Warming up the hips. Tend to be more stiff in the morning and more flexible at the end of the day. So good concerted effort to bring some flexibility to the hips. Let's bring the soles of our feet together and we'll let the knees fall wide. Let your belly be soft and we'll sit up nice and straight and tall. And just notice how your hips are feeling this morning. And we'll draw them together again. We'll take one knee into your chest with a little squeeze. And then the other knee into your chest, give a little squeeze. And this time, I'm going to stretch away my right leg. And beginning with a nice tall spine, I'm going to bend at the hip and reach to my ankle. And when you're ready, draw up and back, and we'll go to the other side. Let's do that a couple times on each side. And the last one. And feet together, knees fall wide, sit up nice and straight and tall. And then knees together, feet on the floor. I think you can see my feet pretty well. So we'll just warm up our feet, lifting your toes up on your heels and then lifting your heels up on your toes. So just back and forth, warming up the feet. Let's add the side to side. So we'll go up and up and then side. Your feet have to be very wide to do the inside, and that might not feel good for your knees, so just move mindfully. So we'll go up and up, and side, and side. One last time. Okay, now for the toes, we'll just do a little grabbing motion with your toes. Almost looks like this. And then we'll come up onto the balls of your feet, stretching the bottom of your feet. So good. When we... <clears throat> When we have our feet in shoes all day, we don't get a lot of 
opportunities to be flexed and open. So open your toes nice and wide, wide as you can. We'll do the hands at the same time. Okay. So let's stand up. I'm going to adjust my screen just a bit. Let's see how that works. I'm going to stand behind my chair. And we'll lift up onto the balls of our feet. So I think I probably cut my head off a bit, but that's okay as long as you can see my feet. So we're just going back and forth. What happens sometimes when you lift up onto the balls of your feet, the weight goes out to the outside edge. See if you can balance on the inside edge as well as the outside edge. And then we'll see if we can hold for a breath. Use your chair if you need to. You can't quite reach mine. And then let it go. Spread your toes nice and wide as we come into our mountain pose. Shoulders up, back and down. Lifting up to the crown of your head. Let's warm up our legs using your chair if you need to. We're just going to step, this is my right foot, out to the side. You can have a little bend in the knee if you need to. Let's do two more. And we'll come to center and go to the other side. Just two more after this. And then feet together in mountain pose. With your hands on your hips or your hands on your chair, we're going to lift each foot and kick it to the back. I'm going to open my feet a little wider here. You can speed it up if you want to. And then coming back to center and mountain, let's take a nice deep breath. Let's open our feet nice and wide. See if you can bring your feet wider than your chair, but you certainly want to feel safe. So with your hands on your chair or on your hips, we'll just bend one knee. The opposite leg, it's a nice stretch. Coming to center and then to the other side. This is when I can hear all the pops. Snap, crack, pops. See, that's okay. Keep your weight balanced on both feet and legs. Let's do one more on each side. And then we'll walk those feet together and take a nice deep breath using our arms. Out and up and exhale out and down. Let's do that a couple more times. And last one. I'm going to take my chair to the top of my mat with the seat looking at me. 
and I'm standing in front of my chair, almost lining my toes up with the ed edge of the chair. There's a couple of inches between. And let's do some sun breath. I'll do it once just to show you, and then we'll do three. So here we go, out to the side and all the way up. Exhale, bend from your hips. Coming all the way down, letting your head hang. If you decide to do it without the chair, this is a, a forward bend. I'm going to use my chair, coming into forward bend. Your next inhale brings you into the half forward bend. Legs are straight, arms are straight. Try not to collapse, but hold yourself nice and open here, easy knees. And then we'll go all the way down again, using our arm or taking your hands from the chair to the thighs or coming all the way up. And exhale, namaste. So let's do that a couple more times. Sun breath. Forward bend. Half forward bend, forward bend, and namaste. Let's do, I'm going to do one without the chair for people who might choose to do it without the chair. Here we go. Forward bend. Half forward bend. And forward bend. And out to the side and all the way up. And namaste. Let's do one more using the chair. Inhale out and up. Exhale, bend through your hips. Inhale, half forward bend. Forward bend. And namaste. Okay. Sun breath is a nice way to warm up. I'm going to stand behind my chair. Actually, let's put it back where it was, and that way you have the full view of everything. So now I'm standing behind my chair with the seat looking away from me, as I'm just going to use the top here. I'm getting in mountain, I'm going to walk back into a downward dog. Legs are straight here, but can do a little bend. See if you can drop your head between your elbows. Hold the belly in. And as you inhale, lifting the chest and starting to walk back. Let's do that a couple more times. So inhaling, nice deep breath. Exhaling, walking away. Downward dog. Inhale, walking back. And exhale, downward dog. And inhale, walking back. 
Let's hold for a breath and mouth and close. I'm going to use the chair for the next few poses, but if you choose not to, I will um, try to make sure that I'm giving you the best instruction that you need to do it that way. Okay, behind my chair, or you can always put the chair to the side, but I'm thinking you won't be able to see. So I'm going to leave the chair in front and begin in mountain as we move into warrior. So I'm going to leave my right foot right where it is, and I'm stepping my left foot back. My torso is facing forward, and my legs are straight. And my legs are straight. Let's begin with our arms down by our side. And we'll use the breath to come in and out of warrior. So without the chair is just the way that it looks now. I just have it there in case I need it. So using the arms and the breath to come into warrior, here we go. And let's bring them out and all the way up if you can. Always have the option to keep them out here or bring them up here with a little bend in the elbow. Really stretch back through that back leg and lift up through the arms as you open your chest. Okay, using the breath to come in and out. Let's do three more like this. Last one. Let's add one more and this time we'll hold for a breath. And then walk those feet together. Coming into mountain, let's take a breath. Rolling those shoulders. And beginning in a mountain pose. So let's step the left foot a bit forward. It's going to stay where it is, and the right foot steps back. You've got your chair if you need it. Arms down by your side. We're using the breath to come in and out. Here we go. Let's do one more like this. And we'll add one more with a hold. Never holding your breath. Just holding the pose. And walking the feet together. Let's add a breath using the arms. And rolling your shoulders. Warriors are very heat building and energy building, but we always want to balance everything out. So we'll move into a downward dog. Let's hold for a breath. And inhaling into mountain pose. Next pose is triangle pose. We 
which we do with the chair looking at us. And then we stand to the side of it. So it doesn't matter which, which side you begin on, we'll get to both. And you're gonna hold your hands on your hips as you open those feet nice and wide. Your calf muscle, the side of your calf should almost be touching your chair. So nice wide stance here. And then we're gonna pivot on that right heel. So the toes point under the chair. And then the outside foot, we're gonna bring it halfway in. So not all the way under the chair, but my toes are pointed to the corner of the room. And we're gonna keep our torso nice and long and facing forward. So engage the muscles of your thigh by lifting your knee. You'll feel it if you hold your hand on your thigh and you engage that muscle, you can feel it lifting. So engage those nice strong legs. We're gonna inhale the arms up at shoulder height. Draw in a nice deep breath. And as you exhale, reach this right hand, this is my right hand, down to the chair. If you can't quite get it there, you can keep your hand on your thigh. And keep those legs nice and strong. Or you can put something on your chair, a block would be perfect. So that you can rest. And the last thing would be this other arm, reach it right up to the ceiling. Come out of this triangle, triangle, bend your forward knee. That lower hand, press it on your thighs and come up and bring the arms down. My toes are pointing forward now. And I'm gonna walk the feet together and go to the other side. Nice tall mountain pose, feet nice and wide. I'm gonna turn my toes under, under the chair. And then the other foot, I'm gonna bring it halfway in so it's pointing to the corner of the room, but my torso is gonna to be forward. Again, you can use your hand on your thigh as a guide and that can be all that you do for the triangle pose. Maybe you challenge yourself a bit and reach to the chair. You can be up on your fingertips, touching a block. And then the opposite arm reaches right up to the ceiling. It's about opening. So if you feel your chest kind of collapsing forward, see if you can stack those shoulders and open here, very important, strong legs. Triangle pose. To come out of this, I'm gonna bend my forward knee, use my hand on my thigh to come out and let's walk those feet together. Nice deep breath. Okay, chair to the opposite side again. And the stance is very similar. Beginning in a mountain pose. We open our feet nice and wide. And the toes point under the chair. Opposite foot halfway there. Keep those legs nice and strong, torso forward. We're gonna inhale the arms up at shoulder height. And as you exhale the breath, bend the forward knee. My chair's in the way. I'm gonna have to <laughs> scooch it forward here. Engage the muscles of your bottom. Engage the muscles 
hug your legs, lift the chest up nice and high. And if you feel like you can, you can look over that, the outstretched arm above the bent knee and bringing those shoulders down. This is warrior two pose. Let's inhale, straighten the legs and draw the arms down. My toes are pointed forward and I'm gonna walk them together. Nice deep breath. Chair to the other side. As we begin in mountain. Toes under the chair, opposite toes, halfway there. Arms at shoulder height, nice strong legs. And as you exhale the next breath, bend the forward knee, I'm scooching my chair away. Maybe that helps your balance by having your knee touch your chair. Shoulders down. If you can rotate your head to look out and over, the outstretched arm. Warrior two. The in breath straightens the legs. Arms come down. I'm walking my feet together. Let's take a nice deep breath here. I'm going to face the seat of my chair. And let's do a forward bend. Again, warrior is a very heat building, energy building, and that's great, but we like to balance out the energy, very important. So we'll do a forward bend. Always beginning in mountain. And using your breath. Drawing your chest forward, bend from the hip. Forward bend. Let's stay here for a breath. And when you're ready, we'll bend the knees this time, bringing our hands from the chair to our thighs and pressing up into mountain pose. We'll turn the chair around and do one more downward dog, which is walking those feet away, dropping your head, easy knees, and inhaling to come out of. Now we're done. Okay. My chair is out in front. You don't have to move yours. I'm gonna move into the last standing pose, which is goddess pose. So I'll always begin in the mountain. And we'll walk those feet nice and wide. You've got your chair if you need it. This time the toes will be pointing out to the corners of the room rather than straight forward, but a little to the outside so that it gives your knees an opportunity to be open and bend freely. So here we go, shoulders up, down, and back. We're going to inhale the arms out to the side and all the way up with our palms facing forward. Hands and arms and a big V. My fingers are stretched 
nice and wide. And tuck your tailbone down and under so it's not back, but it's in balance with your hips. Beginning with a breath in, we're gonna exhale and bend the knees, bend the elbows, bring them right into the sides of your torso, squeeze your shoulder blades, inhale, reach up and exhale, coming into goddess pose, opening your heart. Let's do a couple more. Last one, make it a good one. We'll release the arms and walk the feet together. Let's breathe a nice deep breath together. Okay. Let's come back to sit in our chair. Take care of yourself. If you need to drink water, go ahead and do that. Very important to care for yourself. Okay. So I'm moving to the edge of my chair. Lining up my ankles under my knees. And then walking those feet nice and wide. So we're gonna move into a seated triangle pose. And I think we'll appreciate it a little more as we just did a standing triangle pose. So lifting your heart and lifting up to the crown of your head I'm going to take the forearm, right forearm, and cross it over my right thigh. So not in line, but cross it over. The opposite arm and hand, bring it to your hip. And as you inhale your next breath, we're going to go ahead and lift the opposite arm right up to the ceiling. Try not to collapse your chest, but open and lift. Notice if you press in, you can open a little more. So whatever is comfortable, be mindful. And then we'll bring the arm down and come to seated, come to center. We'll walk the feet together. And then we'll walk them wide again. Left forearm crosses over, left thigh, opposite hand to your hip. And we'll use the breath to inhale it right up. Seated triangle. We're going to open the chest. And when you're ready, arm comes down and we'll walk the feet together. Let's take the right knee into your chest and give it a little squeeze. And then the left knee into your chest and give it a little squeeze. And then we'll stretch both legs out in front. I'm up on my heel here. Toes are pointing up to the ceiling. My feet are hip width apart. A little bump in the knee helps you feel safer. And we'll use the breath to bring the arms out to the side and then all the way up, palms facing forward. And then as you exhale the breath, you're gonna come forward just a bit. Try to avoid this, keeping the arms right up next to your ears. If you need to bend the elbows, 
that's okay. We're just bringing the torso just a bit forward. And back to seated. Let's do a couple more like that. So it begins by stretching legs, breathing arms out and up. Use your exhale to come forward, but just a bit. I think I'm coming about a foot forward. And last one. Let's do a little open close, open close. Okay. Begin seated up nice and tall. Nice straight spine. Shoulders down away from your ears. I'm gonna cross my right thigh over my left. It's, I have to help it a bit. So if you want to move that opposite foot to the center um, rather than the side that it's on. So maybe we should bring the feet together before we cross the thighs. And then don't lose that nice tall spine. And I'm going to point these toes. So the crossed leg, I'm going to point the toes. And then the arms for this pose, which is eagle pose, in yoga they call it Garudasana, eagle pose. We're going to use the arms, we're going to inhale them out and up, and we're going to bend the elbows and bring them together. So if this is too much, you have the op option to just kind of cross your arms and hold your shoulder. If you want to take it a little further, you can scoop one arm under and the fingers are going to reach for the palm and make sure you're lifting those elbows up at shoulder height and not letting them kind of sink. And then when you're ready, release the arms and release the legs. Take the left eye and cross it over the right. Again, point those toes. Let's take the arms down by your side and we'll inhale them out and up at shoulder height, bending the elbows, cactus pose. I suppose you can keep it here too. If drawing those elbows together feels like it's just too much. It's quite a stretch here, so. Enjoy it. So this time, opposite arm, fingers reach to the palm, and this twisting motion stretches your arms and your shoulders. But if it's just too much, you always have the option of crossing the arms and holding the shoulders. So you feel this opposite stretch, this kind of opposite pull as you reach arms up and point toes down. And release the arms, release the legs. Let's stretch the legs out in front, a little space between the feet and we'll, can't see my feet, but I'm shaking them. Comes all the way up to your hip here. And feet on the floor. Let's do a little open close, open close. Okay. One last pose. We'll try here. Okay. 
Let's bring the feet together. And I'm gonna take my right ankle and rest it on my left thigh. Now my knee is pretty high here. And if, this, if you're looking like, like that, it's okay as long as you're not having any pain. So sitting up nice and straight and tall. I'm gonna exhale from the hip and just come a little bit forward. I'm hold, holding onto my foot and my knee and making sure the opposite ankle is directly under your knee. This is a number four. They call this in yoga. Sitting up nice and straight and tall and then we can bend from the hip Come a little bit forward. If this is too much, you can always just cross your legs, coming a little bit forward. So you don't want your ankle to collapse. Coming a little bit forward. And then release the legs and we'll hold for a breath. Okay, this is my left ankle and I'm bringing it onto my right thigh. Again, you don't want your ankle to collapse. You want a nice straight line from your foot to your knee. You get nice and tall, with good posture, and then coming forward. Make sure the standing leg and foot, the ankle is directly under the knee. This is for your hip. I'm sure you can feel your hip on the bent knee side. Sit up nice and straight and tall. And exhale, coming forward from your hip, number four. So if I were standing, you would more appreciate the number four. You would see it. But we're seated, so it's a little hard to see. Last one coming just a bit forward. And then release the legs, but stretch them out in front again. And shake your feet, make them like rubber. Okay. With a little bend in the knee, let's come forward. So beginning with a breath. And then exhale, hands over the knees, reach all the way down to your ankles. Make sure you feel safe. In order to do this, I'm gonna hang my head. And then when you're ready, walking hands up and over and feet on the floor. Let's try that again, stretching those legs out in front. And I always have a little bit of a bend in my knee. It helps my heels dig into the floor and makes me feel safe. Like I'm not gonna slide off my chair. Beginning with an inhale and a nice tall spine, we'll exhale and move from the hip as you just reach for those ankles and let your head hang. And then when you're ready, walking it up and back and coming seated, you do a little open close, open close. Okay, bringing the soles of your feet together and the knees fall wide. Let's bring the knees together and sit back in your chair and we'll go through a progressive relaxation. So sit up nice and straight and tall. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. Again, I'm gonna bring my hands into a more receptive pose. At the beginning, it's the beginning of the day. So I'm looking for some 
some flexibility, some energy to get through my Saturday. Have my granddaughter coming over. <laughs> get it okay. Just gently close your eyes and start to soften. We can soften without collapsing. So nice tall spine. Nice open shoulders and torso. Nice soft belly. Think about the muscles around your eyes. See if you can release and soften the forehead. <clears throat> And then down to your cheeks and jaw. Softening through the whole face and mouth. Just let your tongue kind of hang out. Settle back in your, in your mouth. And then draw that sense of relaxation down into your shoulders and your neck right, where all the tension lives, lives in the shoulders and the neck for a lot of us. And then as you draw your next breath in to your heart and your chest, see if you can open through that space, allow the breath to just fill it up. See if you can release the effort in your arms, your forearms, your palms, your fingers. Let them be supported by your thighs and just let the effort go. And then down deep in your belly. See if you can release that space with breath. Down into your sit bones, in your thighs, in your knees. See if you can just let them be soft. using the exhale to just let it go. Then down into your shins and calves. And into your ankles and your feet. And then into your toes. Imagine that your legs are softest part of your body. Notice where the breath goes. Does it begin in the chest or down in your belly or somewhere in between? Don't even change it, just notice it. And then when you're ready, take your time. Gently open your eyes. Let the light and the sounds back in. Let's bring our hands together in front of our heart. Your big thumbs rest right there, the center of your chest.
Namaste. Have a wonderful Saturday.